Chapter 10. The Book of Mormon also testifies. And their curse was taken from them, and their skin became white like unto the Nephites. 3 Nephi 2 15. The Book of Mormon is a second witness to the Bible, because its teachings, doctrines and history are closely parallel to those of the Old and New Testaments. It shows how the people were blessed by the Lord when they were obedient to Him and cursed when disobedient. One of the early accounts of some who turned against the commandments and laws of the Lord is that of the Lamanites. Saints in our day can certainly learn from the following account. And he the Lord had caused the cursing to come upon them, yea, even a sore cursing, because of their iniquity. For behold, they had hardened their hearts against him, that they had become like unto a flint, wherefore, as they were white, and exceeding fair and delightsome, that they might not be enticing unto my people, the Lord God did cause a skin of blackness to come upon them. And thus saith the Lord God, I will cause that they shall be loathsome unto thy people, save they shall repent of their iniquities. And cursed shall be the seed of him that mixeth with their seed, for they shall be cursed even with the same cursing. And the Lord spake it, and it was done. And because of their cursing which was upon them they did become an idle people, full of mischief and subtlety, and did seek in the wilderness for beasts of prey. And the Lord God said unto me Nephi, They shall be a scourge unto thy seed, to stir them up in remembrance of me, and inasmuch as they will not remember me, and hearken unto my words, they shall scourge them even unto destruction. 2 Nephi 5 21-25 and the skins of the Lamanites were dark, according to the mark which was set upon their fathers, which was a curse upon them because of their transgression and their rebellion against their brethren, who consisted of Nephi, Jacob, and Joseph, and Sam, who were just and holy men. And their brethren sought to destroy them, therefore they were cursed, and the Lord God set a mark upon them, yea, upon Laman and Lemuel, and also the sons of Ishmael, and Ishmaelitish women. And this was done that their seed might be distinguished from the seed of their brethren, that thereby the Lord God might preserve his people, that they might not mix and believe in incorrect traditions which would prove their destruction. And it came to pass that whosoever did mingle his seed with that of the Lamanites did bring the same curse upon his seed. Therefore, whosoever suffered himself to be led away by the Lamanites was called under that head, and there was a mark set upon him. Alma 3 6-10, see also 3:14-15. Brigham Young referred to this Lamanite curse and compared it to the curse upon the Jews. Here are the Lamanites, another example. Their wickedness was not so great as those who slew the Son of God. Jesus revealed himself to them after he was slain, preached to them the gospel. But in the fourth generation the priesthood was driven from their midst, and after that, the laws, ordinances, and power of the gospel ceased to be with them. Is their curse as great as that of those in Palestine? No, it is light, in comparison. They began to thirst for each other's blood, and massacred each other, from generation to generation, until they sunk into wickedness, and evil principles the most degrading, and have become loathsome and vile. Still, the curse will be removed from them before it will be removed from the children of Judah, and they will become a wild and delightsome people. JD 2 143. Jacob reminded his people that just because the Lamanites were dark-skinned, they should not revile against them. Wherefore, a commandment I give unto you, which is the word of God, that ye revile no more against them because of the darkness of their skins, neither shall ye revile against them because of their filthiness, but ye shall remember your own filthiness, and remember that their filthiness came because of their fathers. Jacob 3 9. Jacob states that their situation was due to their fathers, which apparently refers to a pre-mortal choice of fathers. It is a doctrine that everyone chose his father in the pre-mortal state, which would put them in the lineage they come through here in mortality. Whatever good or bad works these fathers did in that pre-mortal world was a blessing or cursing that followed them in this mortal world. Thus it is evident that, generally speaking, the white-skinned people were designated by the Lord as a more righteous people than the dark-skinned ones. It was the white Nephites to whom the white-skinned Jesus appeared. And when Jesus had spoken these words he came again unto his disciples, and behold they did pray steadfastly, without ceasing, unto him, and he did smile upon them again, and behold they were white, even as Jesus. 3 Nephi 1930. Throughout the Book of Mormon are accounts of God segregating the people, i.e., the Nephites and the Lamanites, and explaining why he caused a dark skin upon the Lamanites. 1. The skin of blackness came upon them so that they might not be enticing unto my people. 2. They were cursed because of their iniquity which they had committed. 3. The people of the Lord were warned that cursed shall be the seed of him that mixeth with their seed. 4. Then because of their cursing dot 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 they did become an idle people, full of mischief and subtlety. 5. The people of the Lord who would sin would be scorched by them to stir them up in remembrance of the Lord. 6. Then if they did not repent, they would be scorched to death by them. 7. The Lamanites received skins of darkness according to the mark which was set upon their fathers. 8. 
The mark was used so their seed might be distinguished from their brethren. 9. The mark was to separate the two peoples, so the Lord God might preserve his people, that they might not mix. 10. They were to be separate, so the people of the Lord might not mix and believe in incorrect traditions which would prove their destruction. 11. The mark was to keep them from mixing with their seed, and therefore bring the same curse upon his seed. 12. Then if they did not receive these warnings, they would then be called under that head, meaning they would become one with that people under those curses. But the Lord also warned, How much more cursed is he that knoweth the will of God and doeth it not, Alma 32 19, than those who were cursed with the dark skin. Another curse mentioned in the Book of Mormon, is that they were cursed because of your riches and because ye have set your hearts upon them, and have not hearkened unto the words of him who gave them to you. Helaman 13 21. The prophet Moroni had one last appeal and promise. To be righteous and faithful so that in the last judgment, they would become white at the time of their last final blessing. O then ye unbelieving, turn ye unto the Lord, cry mightily unto the Father in the name of Jesus, that perhaps ye may be found spotless, pure, fair, and white having been cleansed by the blood of the Lamb, at that great and last day. Mormon, 9-6